Jerome? Oh no, where did you, where did this fool go? Jerome? Jerome, you in the skyline? No? Um, dude, where'd you go, man? Oh, dude, what, Jerome? What, what are you doing? Dude, are you okay? Oh yeah, you had a long night. What are you working on? You know you can't fix this motor, right? Like, look at this. It's, it's dead, dude. Get this, you don't need to be drinking this crap. Get up, get up. Nope, I'm daddy now. Nope, Jerome, you're gonna freaking, okay, see your dog dirty now, man. Come on. Dude, you're so annoying. I got something pretty cool for you. You feel like trying something on for me? Jerome, why don't you go ahead and, why don't you go ahead and plop this sucker on, bud? Oh, dog, what the? Dude, you're looking pretty fresh, dude. Give me a little turn. Ooh, look at that, Jerome. That is a custom-made 5.3 supply backpack you're wearing, dude, and they're back in stock right now. That's pretty comfy. You know what, just chill. I don't want you drinking anymore. You need to sit there. I'm gonna do some more, some stuff. All right, see you, dude. Sick. You know, honestly, she might be dirty, but she is super unmolested. You know, I see this, and all I see is potential. As you guys know, we just did an eBay turbo kit in this D16 Y8. There was a Y8 swapped into this car. I do not know why, but there was a Y8 swapped in this car. So we just did an eBay turbo kit for that guy, and you guys loved it. So what we're gonna do for this car is pretty much the exact same thing. Here we go. Here we go again. So unlike last time, I actually got a better deal and a way, way cheaper deal than the last turbo kit. So last time, I was already really, really impressed. I spent $600 on the last turbo kit, which came with everything, including the manifold, like lines for oil, all the intercooler piping I needed, plus a little bit that I had to pay my fabricator for to make it a little nicer. All the hoses, a boost controller, all that kind of stuff that came with all of it. This time, I spent $300 and $50 to get a similar kit. So, let's unbox it and see what in the world is in here. Okay, so already, this sucker comes with a downpipe with, wow, with a custom made bunghole, baby. It's got a bunghole in it. Okay. So, this time we're not from EMUSA, we're from DNA Motoring. Does this kid not have a freaking intercooler? They said they had an intercooler. I wanna be the one that takes the hit for you guys. If it's a good turbo kit, you guys can know because of me. If it's a bad turbo kit, you guys can know because of me. But for 350 bucks, it looks like we're about to get some decent stuff. I mean, okay, so just to compare. Compare, guys. 600 bucks for an entire turbo kit, 350 bucks for whatever this is, I'm about to spend like $1,200 for a turbo only for this car. Okay. Oh, we got an even more Chinese spinny boy. Is this the exact same turbo, just rebranded? <laughs> Hold up. Hold up, dude. Okay. Okay. This is... Uh, hold up. I think this is the exact same turbo. Somewhere in China is selling this Nagasaki Noisy Boy. These Wu-Tang War Whistles right here do not... I mean, these are the exact same Beijing blowholes everywhere on the internet. You know, let me test it out. Yep, that's definitely a yin-yang spinny thing. It's got the... I mean, it's the exact same. Yo, like... Yep, this is the same Pad Thai Pounder that I just had on the other Civic. Okay, there has to be some or some sort of other package because did they just like screw me over on this? Let me take this Wu-Tang War Whistle over here and compare. Yup. So the casting looks literally identical. They both say M12 on it. They both have AR of 0.5. Dude, I think for a few dollars, I just got myself an extra turbo. There's gotta be an extra box in here somewhere. Okay, here's one other box, I think. Listen, Speed Daddy, if this doesn't have anything good inside this box, you're getting a bad eBay seller review. Come on, Speed Daddy. Speed me. Okay, here's the goods. Okay, so the one thing that stuck out to me about, yeah. 
Okay, so DNA, whatever this place is, gave me an extra Beijing blowhole to go on the turbo as an intake. And this, this thing is super dumb, but kind of cool. Okay, yeah. So for a custom downpipe, if I don't want to use that, use this. But I'll probably use the metal of this. But I won't use this because that's a different, that's a different direction. So I have this. This line that I got last time drained or leaked like a mother. So I'm probably, I'm not gonna use that. I'm gonna use the one that I actually went and paid a little bit of money for. Let's see what else is in here. Welcome children to my unboxing. Oh shoot. All right, let's see what we've got. Oh, this one actually looks a little bit nicer than the last one. Okay, maybe not. This looks like the Beyblades Online Final Boss or something. This is, this is a wastegate. <laughs> Look at this dude. It looks like one of those, it looks like that really scary looking spiny orb weavers looking spider. Like this is a weird ass looking thing. Should we try it? Okay. Okay. So we have, okay, so this is not the exact same kit. This is in fact like almost identical, but definitely a different fuel pressure regulator. This one actually feels a little bit better. Looks a little bit nicer as well. So far, 350 bucks better than the other kit. Except for the fact that they gave me literally one of these. I have one, I have one of these. And okay, so we got a better boost controller this time. This one actually looks, this one looks identical to the one that I have on my SC300. It's like a, it's like a genuine, this actually is the one I have on my SC300. It is the exact boost controller I have on my SC. So this is actually not a bad one. This is actually a pretty good one. The other one was super weird. I'm gonna go boost all the way down so I don't blow up my car, first thing. That's cool. And it comes with all the lines. It comes with some some T's and the spring and I don't know what that is. Never used, I'm liking this so far. Uh -oh. One more item for this super custom Nagasaki noisy boy. All right, looks like we got a nice, huge wiener. That's my wastegate dump. Okay, that's actually really, that's super sick that they included that. So they've included things that I don't really need, and then they also didn't include things that I do definitely need. So they emailed me, they're like, hey, this kit is in really high demand right now. <laughs> You're welcome. So they said that they couldn't include an exhaust manifold, which is fine because I have one, but I went ahead and bought another one just to see what it's like. I bought a top mount manifold, but I'm not even sure if the top mount will fit. Let's just see. They always have these funky names that don't actually exist. So this is, uh, this is a brand called Hype Speed. Oh, this is the ugliest thing I think I've ever seen. Oh, I don't know, man. Maybe she's beautiful. Okay, and for I think a hundred dollars even, we have this decent top mount exhaust manifold. Now, the only thing that worries me on here is this is, I think, I think this manifold is actually designed for a Del Sol. Okay, so that would definitely hit every single thing in there and I would not be able to run AC. Good to know. Gonna have to return that. I really wanted to try and do a top mount because top mounts are definitely better and easier to work on, but that's not gonna happen. Now here's the awesome thing. This car is so incredibly blown up. I'm never going to use any of the stuff that I bought for it in the first place. With that being said, same motor, D16, D16, which means I can use the old manifold, the old turbo, and all of the fabricated piping I used the first time around. I'll be able to use the old intercooler, the old intercooler pipes that we fabbed on, the old, I mean, everything. I'm gonna say for 350 bucks, this is still a pretty good deal. If I got this the first time around and didn't have any clue what the other kit was like, then I would probably say this is definitely worth it because it's got some decent parts in it. But the manifold and the intercooler are two pretty crucial parts. So it was a hundred bucks for that manifold, which I'm not gonna use. Then you've gotta buy intercooler piping and the intercooler itself. If you found it from EMUSA or whatever the hell, DNA motoring, probably buy it for like a hundred bucks again. So you'd be about 550 or so. It also didn't come with a blow off valve or anything like that. So I'm thinking the first time around, we got the better kit, even though this is essentially the exact same thing, but it did come with a downpipe 
and a screen pipe, which can save you a couple hundred dollars fabrication costs. Okay, Mr. Wu-Tang War Whistle, you're gonna be my backup, okay? Because my main chick over here has lasted through 25 PSI and about 50 pulls. My goal this time around is to make sure that she lasts a decent amount of time. Whether that means a small build, better motor mounts, pistons, rods. Girl, you are gonna enjoy having a turbo this time around, okay? Bruh, bruh, look at this, look at this. Jerome, Jerome, you ready for this? Ready for this? <laughs> oh, that's what that's for. The one, this right here, that's what that's for. They could not have chosen an uglier color comp. <laughs> a blue thing and they're gonna give us red this. Dude, you see this? Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty funny, dude. That is awesome. That's hilarious. There's still zero netting or guard for the turbo at all. So like, I mean, maybe it'll like block, a, like a rock can hit like here or something like that, but pfft. Well guys, Jerome and I are gonna get started on this stuff as soon as possible. Again, like I said, mentioned last video, we do have a, we do have a grandparent that's going through hospice stuff right now, so um, I'm gonna have to unfortunately cut videos like this a little bit short. Not gonna be able to do as much today as I wanted to, but I wanted to make sure I got a video out and uh, let you guys know that we got the turbo kit in. We're gonna start on that pretty soon, but I think before we do that, I do have fenders and front bumper and rear bumper and headlight, taillight conversion, stuff like that. We'll get that looking all nice. I got coilovers and wheels and stuff like that for the car. We'll do a whole 180. My daily advice for you guys is um, there's people out there that will constantly point out your flaws to hide their own because they're insecure about their own. There's always going to be people out there that try and make you look bad to try and make themselves feel better about how bad they've been or how bad they are. Remember that. Remember that. The people out there that are criticizing you the most are usually the ones that need or receive the most criticism. Love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Deuce. Hey! Oh, that was, I'm sorry, that was really, that was really dumb. I got, I got, I got seven videos for you in front of you. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's actually two videos. You need to watch both of those videos. Right, Jerome? Yep.